Paul Grint, who to many of you will be known as the heavyweight house of pain, sticks. Paul, I really want you to listen to what I've got to say to you here. I hope you're sat in your home in Nottingham, perhaps you've opened a can of energy drink. And I don't want your head to turn away from the screen for one second. Because I truly believe it's in your best interest that you listen to everything I've got to say to you. You see, I just can't seem to figure you out. For the longest time, I considered you one of the top professional wrestlers, not only in the United Kingdom, but in Europe. But your recent actions, well, <laughs> well, they've told me something completely different. They tell me that right now I'm not addressing a professional wrestler. Hell, I'm not even addressing a man. I'm addressing a boy in a man's body. A boy who wants to play wrestler. A piss pot worker. An indie wrestler. Hell, you're just as much of a piss pot worker as El Ligero is. But the one difference between you and Ligero, and I suppose it's the one thing you have over him, is that you've got a backbone. So you've stood up to us. You didn't sit on the fence. No, you spoke up and you stood up to screw indie wrestling. And although the representatives of Defend Indie Wrestling have still stayed quiet on the subject and are too busy flying themselves out to America, you stepped in the ring and fought against Mark Haskins. And now you want to fight again, on September 29th to be exact, against me, the show stealer Nathan Cruz. Now Grint, I've got no problem whatsoever in stepping in the ring with you. And if I have to, I've got no problem in teaching you a lesson. But before you and me arrive to the garage in Islington, I really, really want you to think about what you're fighting for. Because what you're fighting for is the destruction of an industry. An industry in which you apply your trade. And if this plague continues, of this defend indie wrestling, if indie wrestling continues, what happens to people like you and me, Paul? People who are professional wrestlers as a full-time living. And after you've watched this video, I want you to look around that house of yours, Paul. I want you to think about not being able to afford it anymore because you've been undercut by indie wrestlers and indie promoters. I want you to look at your pregnant girlfriend, Paul. I want you to think about not being able to provide for your family. I want you to think about Mark Haskins and his family, Rampage Brown and his family. What happens to them if this continues? Would you be responsible for their children not eating? Would you take the food from their children's mouths? Would you take the food from your own child's mouth? Would you defend indie wrestling even though you're in poverty because they put you there? Just think about it, Paul! We're this close to it now. And in that meantime, I'll be back out there on the full-time circuit with many other professional wrestlers across the globe who believe in our cause. Because our message is simple. Screw indie wrestling. I'm a pro.